The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Some years ago we embarked on a project to try and establish the appetite in the marketplace for manufactured buildings. As we went up this path, the thing that we recognised as the major stumbling block was finance. So today we're going to share with you the impediments that we discovered when trying to find finance for manufactured buildings. The off-site construction and manufacturing sector globally is growing incredibly fast. Estimates are that we'll reach nearly $300 billion worth of value by 2020. Particularly in the Asia Pacific region, in 2012 alone, $90 billion was invested in this sector. Taking a manufacturing approach to construction brings with it a lot of challenges because it's a very different approach, but it also brings with it a number of benefits that we've outlined in our previous project. The market is, is, is expanding hugely. Um, and you have to look at the drivers behind that market expansion. I think the first thing to note is that Australia's got relatively very high labour costs. So as a consequence, to build anything on site becomes very expensive. There's lots of reasons why that's happened, but a smart businessman and a smart company doesn't work against the forces of economics, they work with them. The actual financing on, on building sites, I think, is lagging a little bit behind the innovation and technology you see here. Traditionally what happens is that you go out you put, start building your building and you get a regular draw from the bank as you progress. It might be, let's say, when the first four slabs on, you get so much money. Now, with precast, all that happens in here, so that there's not that actual ability to measure the progress on site so much. Financing needs to address that so that we can be paid as we produce along the way, because there's a very, very long lead time in prefabrication, and that takes a lot of working capital. And I think if we're going to see improvement in this space from a financing point of view, we need to look at ways of speeding up that financing and that's what the research people can do. It's absolutely crucial to partner with research. The only way you're going to find out what the trends are is to stay abreast of what future is coming and that's what the universities and the research shows you, that, that this is the wave of the future and we concur with that. Well, I think this is very interesting for us because we do actually have a great interest in producing buildings that are more efficient and where you can supervise the quality and there's just so much promise in this area of prefabrication and industrialised building but the financing is critical. We just need to know that the uh, corporations and the sort of banks and everyone who supports the construction industry are going to support prefabricated and industrialised buildings because that is the way for us to get a more efficient outcome, to build schools, to build hospitals and to actually know that uh, this is fully supported throughout the industry. A key part of this project was the opportunity to go past the research and sit down with industry and the finance community and really discuss the realities of the situation with them. As you'll find in our industry report, we asked the banking community what were some of the things that really attracted them about this form of construction. They talked about the reduced delays, uh, the reduced number of variations, obviously the much faster construction time, the improved quality. They also talked about some of the risks, some of the risks around completion risks, where there might be the case that uh, a company that's building a large building off site over a, maybe a three or four month period, something happens and they're unable to deliver and it's very difficult for someone to step in. However, that perception was challenged by the builders in the room to say, well, actually, we could come together and make that process really easy for another one of our competitors to step in should there be the need for it. So we're seeing a massive opportunity here in building manufacture and bringing innovation from manufacturing into the building sector to really take the building and construction sector in Australia forward into the 21st century, which will give us a number of opportunities. However, we need to now work with those financing institutions and a, lot, a number of things are being done. It's a really exciting space and we look forward to see where it unfolds. These buildings here were made by hand on site. However, building innovation has moved into factories. Our research has shown that these buildings are better, quicker to build and cheaper, but the processes are not being enabled by the finance sector who see certain risks involved. SBE have helped us to start a journey with them that shows we can resolve this. 
but there's a further journey to continue.